five-man kill feed with the knife. Hey guys, how's it going? Bonjour, Ohio, konnichiwa, hola, my name is Dan, and today we have the first part of my Q&A series of, I don't know how many parts it's going to be, uh, because I got a whole bunch of questions, and I just love that fact. Thank you to all those who participated. Greatly, greatly appreciate it, and before you say anything, no, I'm not a hack, guys. I got into a hack lobby, like always, and I got promoted to 11th prestige technically level 55 all guns all camo and crap like that so i'm not really complaining thank you mr hacker sir you know not all hackers are douchebags what do you know but first things first these questions that i got asked are some of the most like interesting questions to get to know me as a person but also uh, some of them are just you know super damn weird dude super weird and, and just you know, hilarious i mean like this first question i got asked just made me laugh straight out for like five minutes and I couldn't even control it. So here it is. You walk into a room and there are two chairs. One of them has your favorite food on them and the other has an erect penis. You have to sit on one of the chairs and eat the other. So basically, if I sit on the dick, I get to eat my favorite food. But if I sit on my favorite food, I got to eat a dick. And <laughs> this question it was, just, it was just so hilarious. It actually made me think, what would you do? And let me just tell you guys right now, a little disclaimer. I'm straight, okay? I'm not gay. I have nothing against gay people. I'm just saying that I'm not gay. And I just, I had to go with my, what I said earlier in my, uh, one of my commentaries, and I gotta eat the dick, because I'm not a fan of getting things up the bum bum. That's like one of the worst feelings I could probably imagine, and I'm not really into all that. So there you go, I would, uh, sit on my favorite food and eat the penis. <laughs> and, uh, that's just, that's just, I had to say that because my, you know, I gotta answer whatever you guys say, so, you know, that's for you guys. So next question, Black Ops Open Lobbies? Question mark. So basically, my subscriber is asking, Will I ever, uh, you know, host a Black Ops open lobby for you guys? And I was thinking, like, yeah, that sounds like a really, really good idea. It sounds like a whole bunch of fun, especially to you guys. All you guys are creative and imaginative and just funny and overall really, really good people. So if you guys didn't know, um, I play PS3, so sorry for you Xbox guys. But for you guys who have PS3 and watch my videos, look out for a video or some sort for uh, me telling you when I'm going to have an open lobby. And all that kind of crap, but that'll be that'll be later on all in the video. So you know, stay tuned for that. And next question: When are you going to continue RE4? Now, I gotta say, I'm probably gonna put RE4 out maybe every weekend, just because of me doing this uh, commentary on a daily basis. It, you know, RE4 videos take a lot longer than uh, my regular commentaries, and takes a lot more effort and stuff like that with editing and rendering and all that kind of crap. So I'm thinking probably in the weekends where I have more time and everything like that, I can probably upload RE4 videos. And as for the next question, do you ever plan or have you ever considered doing gameplay slash commentaries on PC? I would love to play on PC. Thing is, I have a crappy ass mediocre uh, PC. And I have no money for that kind of crap to buy a gaming PC. But I'm thinking that eventually, if I ever do have enough money, I would probably buy a gaming PC. Just for the hell of it, to play like Minecraft or play like all these modded games that sound like super super fun. So yeah, I, I am definitely you know interested in playing on PC. And what movie are you most excited slash anxious to see this year? I can't really say anxious, but uh, I'm excited to see uh, Dark Knight Rises. That seems like it's going to be a great film. I watched the first Batman film by Christopher Nolan, and that was a really, really damn good masterpiece. Acting was just spot on. Action was great. And I feel like he's going to make another blockbuster even like two times better than the regular original Batman he made. That's pretty cool. And I gotta say, uh, also Amazing Spider-Man. Just for the sheer fact that Tobey Maguire is not gonna be Spider-Man. Yes, because I hate Tobey Maguire. I feel like every time I see his face, I wanna punch him right in the nose. But yeah, that's it for that. And next question. Play Modern Warfare 3 or jump off a bridge? If you jump off the bridge, you're gonna land into a small pool of uh, cactus. I gotta go with the uh, jumping off the bridge because Modern Warfare 3 pissed me off so much. But I do plan on borrowing it just to see if anything has changed. It's been about a month since I played. And with all these patches and everything coming out, the game seems and looks like it could be better. But I'm just probably going to play for like a week or so. And that's going to be it. Yeah, so I guess that's pretty much it for the questions, guys. Uh, stay tuned for the next Q&A for more questions. Until next time, my name is Dan. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I love you guys all. See ya!